What is going on everybody? Welcome to the third debugging Python tutorial. In this tutorial, in the next couple tutorials, we're going to be talking about arithmetic errors or arithmetic errors. This is going to be pretty useful. A lot of people use Python for large mathematical calculations because it doesn't have the limit of 2.147 billion that a lot of programming languages do. So, a lot of people do use it, and if you use um, and do, interestingly enough, uh, mathematical calculations, then you're going to run into a few different types of errors arithmetically, or even you might run into some memory errors uh, when you exceed your memory limits which also runs into something else. But we'll talk about that when we get there. That's not a rhythmic error, so we're not going to talk about it. So, first error that we're going to talk about is going to be the overflow error. Now this error is almost, I think it's always going to be in relation to when the actual like result of your mathematical equation, the result itself is just too big. So the amount of digits in your in your result is just way too big to be represented. So, or the digit length, I suppose, is the better way to put it. So, the only time that you'll have this occur is going to be when you have a decimal point that's doing it. So, uh, the easiest way for me to do this is to just show you guys a quick example. And, um, yep. So, we're going to do import math, and then uh, we'll do one math exponent, and we'll do uh, negative one times nine, 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 and then we'll come down times, and then we'll do negative zero point uh, like that. Cool. So we'll save that. We'll run it, and sure enough, what prints out is an overflow error. It's a math range error, and it just means that your result has way too many. <laughs> digits basically now again this isn't for like a really really large like long integer it's going to happen most often when you have just a huge decimal like an ongoing decimal like I don't know if you try to calculate pi maybe or something just um, way too many decimals and um, and actually I bet if you calculated pi you'd hit, you'd hit a memory error probably first but anyway um, Generally, if you see this error, you've probably, you know, created your equation wrong, if anything. So, probably the way to solve this error is to go back to your equation and see where you went wrong uh, to give you that many decimal points. So, that's overflow error. As always, thanks for watching.